I'm warm, like really, really warm. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have like a really blotchy face right now. It's really, really hot outside and I just got done walking Doyle, which he'll probably come in here in a little bit. Just got home from work and I wanted to do a go wild tag with y'all. Um, so I went to go wild. This is my second time going and uh, my friends Jody and Ryan, which I will link their channels down below. They are going to be posting, um, I believe they're going to be posting this today as well. So anyways, go check them out. They're probably going to have very different answers because this was their first time going. We collectively, actually mostly Jody, um, got some questions together and I'm going to answer them for you. So yeah, here we go. The first question is, was this your first go wild? Well, I guess I just answered that. No, it's my second go wild. My first one was in Austin, Texas. And then this past year was in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I don't know where the next one's going to be. So this is, this was the fourth year of go wild. So next year will be five years of go wild, but I've only been to two and I will go to the next one. So, um, they haven't announced it yet. So I have no idea when they're going to do that. I am not privy to that information, but we'll see. Who were some of your must meet slash get a pick with people? Um, the only person I hadn't met before that I really wanted to meet was Jennifer Ross from Pretty Neat Living. I will leave her channel linked down below. I'm assuming if you like know my channel and my stuff, you probably have watched her. Um, I started watching her like the first maybe month that she started uploading, which was like eight or nine years ago. Like it was a long time ago, y'all. But um, I was invited to an Erin Condren like invite only party and she was there and she was very lovely and we got to talk a little bit and I was just like oh my gosh I love you <laughs> like in the least creepy way possible <laughs> so anyway she was really awesome I did get a picture with her um my Instagram is below if you guys want to like see me and follow me on there um also like the Instagram like saved stories on my profile I have two albums for go wild so if you guys want to see like leading up to the event like what I was doing and stuff I was doing like go wild wise and then like when I'm there that's where all the shenanigans are happening um number three what was your favorite memory of go wild hmm I don't I don't know um this year was so different because I did have roommates so um that was actually like really nice I thought that I might not like it, which no shade to Jody or Ryan because they were my roommates. But I don't know. I felt like the experience was definitely heightened because I had other people in the room with me and I wasn't so like isolated, even though I was like hella busy the whole time. I don't know. I think, I think my favorite, I don't know. It's not memory, but I don't know. Okay. If I had to pick a favorite memory, it would be getting up at the welcome party, which had Caddict Karaoke, sponsored by Christiane Designs, of course. And Joni and Ryan and I got up and sang Ice Ice Baby. And that was really, really fun. And I may have had one or two mini cocktails, but whatever. Um, so that was actually really, really fun. Um, and I kind of like coerced them to come and do it. I'm like, come on, let's go. So that was actually really cool. So I would say maybe that's my favorite memory, but it's also like with my roomies. So there you go. Next question. What were your expectations going into Go Wild? Um, this year I had different expectations. I was... Uh, clearly I'd been to Go Wild before and I was on their social media team that was like an invite only kind of a thing I didn't seek them out for it um, they talked to a few different people that had been to Go Wild before and were probably planning on coming to Go Wild and approached us and asked us if we would do um, some you know pretty organic social media for them which we were gonna probably be doing anyways my expectations I didn't really know what to expect to be honest because I knew I would be busy I just didn't know how busy I would be. I got to do a couple like really cool things, kind of some behind the scenes stuff, which was really fun um, to kind of showcase for you guys that either weren't there or even were there and then got to kind of see a little sneak peek a little early. Um, but yeah, I didn't really have any expectations this year and um, I don't know. I, I enjoyed myself. Number five. What's one thing that surprised you about Go Wild? I don't know. I guess since... Okay, here's one thing that actually did surprise me. I'm surprised that they did not announce the location for 2020. That was kind of surprising because at the last couple of Go Wilds, they have announced it at the conference of like, just like the city and state of where it's gonna be. They didn't do that this year. 
So that was kind of surprising. So I'm gonna say that. Number six, did you have any roommates or attend alone? Well, I already answered that, but last year I did attend alone and I had a fabulous time. Um, but yeah, I had roommates this year and they were Jody and Ryan, the people linked down below. <laughs> Number seven, what would you do differently next year? Hmm, let's see. Maybe next year, okay. I may make some contacts with some people that maybe I'm just internet friends with beforehand versus just like running into people and maybe like making a plan to like grab lunch or um, like meet for breakfast or something like that. I did do that a little bit, but I just feel like you wanna have like a conversation and like, you know, get to know somebody a little bit more and they wanna get to know you and it's just like, it's difficult when there's so much going on and you don't like make that tangible time for each other. So anyway, that's probably what I would do next year yeah or at least try to make those connections and see where like the schedule pans out next question if someone was thinking about attending next year what advice would you give them go just go um last year i went by myself and this year i went with roommates and i know that there's a lot of people that go that actually find the roommates like in the facebook group there's like a special facebook group once you're an attendee um, that you can go to you can find roommates um, other people that want to split the cost of a room either like you know one other roommate two or three other roommates just kind of depending on what you want to do so um Everyone is just like so supportive of each other and just really comes with like a very kind heart I feel like at this conference. So you'll definitely make friends and I know that a lot of people in the planner community are very introverted and that's okay, but we all love crafting and doing the same things. So we already have something in common and like no one's like judgmental or anything like that. We're just like, you know, you rock yourself. Um, so. I would say just go, make a plan and go. That's my advice. <laughs> Next question. If you could change one thing about Go Wild, what would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I mean, besides it like being longer and being like a whole month of amazingness. Um, I would say, I wish there was a way, this is about the swag. I, oh, I so appreciate the swag and I will link the video wherever it goes um, up in a card for you guys of my swag haul of all the things I decided to keep um, I am kind of on a little bit more of a minimalistic journey with myself currently and I would love just absolutely love if there was a way to donate the swag that maybe just isn't suited for your style to somebody that just couldn't come that you didn't have to like mail it off to them that you could actually like drop it and it would get donated um to someone i don't know who but uh i did donate some swag to people that were already at the conference that lived locally or drove to the event that they didn't have to worry about like luggage you know like luggage weights and all that kind of stuff so that would just be really awesome i don't know how they would do that like logistically but it would be kind of awesome if they could somehow divvy it up to, you know, deserving people in the planner community. I have no idea how this would work. It's just like my brain working. Um, but that would be kind of awesome. Uh, I know that I tried to go through, and my roommates did as well. We went through everything. Um, like the day that we got it, there was two days. So there was like two different kind of like swag days, if you will. Um, maybe three. Yeah, there's a registration too. So we went through our stuff once and then we probably, I think we went, at least I did, I went through it a second time and just made sure that things were actually my style, that I was going to use them and I was going to appreciate them and love them because I really wanted things that I know I wouldn't use to go to someone else. So, I mean, what's the point of keeping something if you're not gonna like absolutely love it and use it all the time? So, um, yeah, but I, I kept quite a bit and I love everything I have. I love some of the stuff that I didn't even keep just because I just, I appreciate this stuff so much, but I just, it's not my style. And like, that's like, that's kind of what I've come to figure out with planning. Like, just make it work for you and it's okay if it's not your style because not everything is for everybody. So anyway, that was a really long-winded answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, number 10. 
last question. Do you plan on attending next year? Well, hell yeah. I am planning on attending next year. I have no idea where it's going to be. I am like itching. Like I want to know where it is. Like argh, I want to know so bad. And I have no clue where it's going to be. Um, I don't even have an inkling. Like there's nothing. I don't know. I kind of wish like, okay, I live in Minnesota. So I really wish it was on the, the Minneapolis St. Paul area, but I kind of feel like that's not going to ever happen, but whatever. But it would be really cool if it was in Chicago because then I could road trip down there because it's not that far of a drive. So that would be really fun. Um, also, I think Orlando would be a good spot because they have a ton of convention centers and things like that. But um, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't care where it is, but I mean, I'm still going to go, but it would be really cool if it was in Chicago. That would be like, I mean, Minneapolis would be like my number one, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, so I'm trying to be realistic, but I would think like Chicago would be really fun. And, um, weirdly enough, I've never, I've driven through Chicago, but I've never been to Chicago. Like I've never stayed in Chicago at all. So I don't know, I'm like a bad Midwesterner, <laughs> so yeah. But anyway, that is it for the Go Wild tag. I will leave the questions down below, so if y'all are interested in doing the Go Wild tag and you went this year or any previous year, um, feel free to do a video or maybe just answer the questions in the comments. That would be really cool. Also, make sure to check out Jody and Ryan's videos. I will leave links below for y'all. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some questions, so let me back up just a moment. Um, I'm wearing a printed shirt, like I understand. So I'm wearing this like printed shirt, super cute, got it from Tars J. And um, if you guys can hear my voice, I'm a little under the weather still. Um, I've had the flu for two weeks now. It really is no fun. But um, I'm feeling better, but I'm still like majorly congested. So one of the days that I was at Target getting more NyQuil, <sighs> and soup because that's what I've been living on lately. I was like, I need to buy myself something pretty. So I did. And it's navy. It's a little color, little color, but it's still fun. And if I can find it, I'll link it down below. But anyway, that is going to be it for this go wild tag video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Also, all my other social media platforms are down below. I'm most active on Instagram if you want to follow me there. And I will be back very soon with more content for y'all, so stay tuned. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. It's been, it's been a while since you've been in the video. Doyle has absolutely nothing to do with this video, but he's looking extra cute today, so I figured he should be in the thumbnail. Has this been enough Doyle torture? Doesn't like to be held. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, we're going. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel.